you're out of the group, all right? Why? You see, it's all right for you, isn't it? It's easy for you. I've been working hard up here for the last 20 years, but it's all right for you. I mean, you look funny. Look at you. You're a bloody comedy gift. You just walk out and people piss themselves. <laughs> look at him. Look at him, ladies and gentlemen. He hasn't even got a bum. He just goes legs, legs, legs back. <laughs> and there's nowhere for the poo to go, so it just comes out your mouth constantly. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. I, okay, I'm a no bum talent and you're a no talent bum. <laughs> And, and you know why I haven't got a bum, ladies and gentlemen? Because I've been working my ass off for him for years, for generations. I've been working, not generations, for, yeah, for generations. My father worked his ass off for him. My grandmother ground her ass down to the extent that ultimately it went in. It was a scoop. If she went over, you could drink soup out of it. I mean, you wouldn't, but you could. But I don't think you would, would you? But if you wanted to, it was possible because of him. Because of him, he turned my nana into a scoopy bum. <laughs> and you could drink soup out of it. I mean, really, I can't personally, I can't conceive of a situation arising where the choice you would make would be to eat soup out of an old lady's concave bottom. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you wanted to, because of him, it's possible because she had a... That's all I'm saying. I'm not suggesting or certainly I'm not encouraging anyone to ever, you know, ask them, you know, if you met my nana and ask her to lean over because she'd get a sore back, wouldn't she? From there, she'd have, you'd have to have a table there for her or something and I don't think she'd want to, you know, but I'm, all I'm saying is it was possible. I don't think you would, you know, because even if you'd smashed all the bowls, you know, and you didn't have any... I think you'd just eat it out of the pot. We knew that you cooked it in, you know, because, you know, I don't think you'd pick up the pot and walk over and flip Nana's nighty up and <laughs> pour the soup in and then, you know, because, you know, I think, I don't think, you, and, and if you, even if you'd smashed the pot as well, so all the bowls and the pot, every vessel in the house had, had been destroyed and the only possible vessel was Nana's innie bum, <laughs> you know, I think you'd... Well, you'd go without soup, wouldn't you? Because, uh, you know, and you wouldn't, because you couldn't cook the soup in her. How would you do that? You'd have to light a fire under her. She'd get burnt, and, and you wouldn't, surely you would, because she's a human being! And show her some respect! Flip up her nighty. <laughs> Flip up her nighty. You well, know what images that conjures up for people? Well, I was doing it for her, so she wouldn't get any soup on her nighty. I was, I was thinking of her. I was being compassionate. But no, you probably wouldn't be, would you? You'd just pour the soup onto her nighty, so the pressure of the soup made it go down into her skin, you know, and you'd send Nana off to bed with a soupy nighty. <laughs> Yeah, that's the kind of guy he is, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't have me, doesn't have sex like a monkey with me. And he sends his nana off to bed with a soupy nighty. Shut up about a soupy nighty. I think we're getting the picture, aren't we? What kind of guy you are. You just, we don't relate to you. That's what I'm saying. Get him, ladies and gentlemen. Rush the stage. Now, there's nothing to stop you. There's no glass or anything. You can just come up here and just get him. It's worth a try. <laughs> it's the tiny little bit at the end of the video, the little bit where you decide if you want to subscribe. Here. Think, think quick, yeah, have a quick think, and I think you're going to think I'm going to click on that link. Don't wait, don't hesitate, don't linger. Just click on the link on the end of my finger.